When a gasket requires replacement, the plate should be removed from the unit and placed on a clean, flat, horizontal surface. Examine the gasket position closely on the plate and observe carefully the grooves the gasket does and does not occupy. To remove a gasket, simply insert a pointed tool, such as a screwdriver, under the gasket until a finger can be inserted. Slowly pull the gasket loose. In some cases, a 3 8 inch wooden dowel cut at about a 45 degree angle may help you remove the gasket and prevent leaving portions of the gasket stuck to the plates. After the gasket is removed, the gasket groove should be thoroughly cleaned. Adhesive residue, oil, grease, and other foreign matter can be removed by applying methyl ethyl ketone or acetone with a rag or nylon brush. Other solvents, such as commercial paint stripping compounds or Permatex gasket removing compounds, are also effective. Just be sure that all of the solvents or compounds are completely removed from the plates and that the groove is clean and dry. Caution! All gasket replacement and cleaning should be done in a well-ventilated area. Do not use torches, grinding wheels, or powered steel wire brushes, since such tools can damage the plates. Apply a uniform bead of adhesive in the appropriate gasket groove using a plastic squeeze bottle with a small hole to provide a bead of adhesive about one-eighth of an inch wide. Do not use a brush to spread the adhesive, nor apply too much. Excessive adhesive will cause the gasket and plates to stick together. The recommended adhesive is Pliobond 30. Pliobond 20 can also be used if Pliobond 30 is not available. Hardening cements are not to be used. Apply the adhesive at room temperature. Make sure that replacement gaskets are OEM specified. The gasket is to be placed carefully in the groove on the bead of the adhesive. When the gasket is installed with the proper side up, the gasket identification code will be visible in the area between the porthole and perimeter gasket. No glue or gasket is to be applied in the fluid flow director portion of the plate. Compress the gasket by placing a sheet of plywood on top of the gasketed plates and place weights on the wood. If more than one plate is gasketed, they can be placed on top of each other with a weighted wood sheet placed on top of the stack. A minimum of 12 to 24 hours of compression should be allowed to provide a maximum adhesion of the gaskets to the plates. After proper compression time, use a clean cloth saturated with methyl ethyl ketone to remove any excess adhesive which may have seeped out beyond the edges of the gasket.